Nationally, the number of people filing for unemployment rose slightly last week to 870,000. And the Labor Department says 12.6 million people are continuing to get unemployment. Reporter Alicia Nevius shows us the help that some have received to get back to work. The unemployment rate in the U.S. is going down, but it is also almost triple what it was pre-pandemic. I just never anticipated that this is where we would be in September. And Bridget Altenberg is the president of the National Able Network. For 40 years, it's been helping people find work. But in the past six months, it's been working overtime. It's scary for the people that we're talking to. It's scary for them, uh, you know, where we thought it would be a month or two of unemployment. And here we are basically six months later. Uh, trying to figure out how to help people navigate. Altenberg says everyone out of work should know two things. One, there are employers that are hiring. There's employers that are desperate for people. So don't immediately assume that, oh, there's nothing out there, so I might as well not look. Um, and the second piece I would say is um, figure out what you want to do. And then don't sell yourself short in terms of what makes you uniquely qualified for that role. For example, you wouldn't think of a restaurant worker having a unique skill set to be a good fit in the IT field. But the National Able Network has been training them to switch over. And IT employers are flocking to recruit these workers. People who have been in, been servers like intuitively know customer service in a way that I can never Ever teach somebody who's in IT. In addition to the National Able Network, there are also more than 2,000 government funded American job centers offering free career and job hunt services. Also, most public libraries, even many community colleges, are offering free resume help and some career services as well. At Lyft, when we think about the way that we can make an impact on communities, we think about how we can use transportation to make a positive impact. The rideshare company Lyft has even jumped in to help the millions of people on the job hunt by providing free rides now in 20 cities to people going to and from job interviews, job training, and even free rides to work until they get their first paycheck. We have a jobs access hub on our Lyft website that will help you be able to go in and sign up on a form where you'll say a little bit more about what type of support you need, what city you live in. And based off of that, we'll connect you with either your local United Way or your local Goodwill. Those two organizations actually distribute Lyft's free rides. And the bonus is they also offer free career services and job hunt help. I'm Alicia Nieves reporting.